What's up everybody? YD5 speaking. With a new uh, video, I figured why not show you some more cars that are gold for the list. And uh, there are a lot, yes. There are lots of Optimus cars. Yeah, I do go for Matchbox and uh, Tomoka 2 on other brands. But, Hot Wheels cars, yeah, they're, yeah, there's so many of them. And, and Hot Wheels guys, I just love them. Well, anyway, let's get on with what we're doing. And I was thinking, it'll be a rather quick video, given the fact that it's not long. Oh, yeah. Get some bit of action going. Oh, yeah, take down there. Whoa, into an oncoming car, drafting, and another takedown, courtesy of the Diora 2. <laughs> well, anyway, let's get on with the list of cars. There's a lot for me to go over. It's just an update on the list. You know, I, I do update the list a lot, and this is going to be a lot more updated than my 118 list that I got going on as well. And uh, here's Off Duty from a new casting for this year from Hot Trucks 14. I uh, saw, I recently saw Ray Screws' video, the MCAS, MK's track time video. I was on the Super Six Lane Speedway. I could use them, but they're really expensive. And I was thinking this, this truck was a two timer. Oh, oops. I spoiled it. My bad. And it's okay, I'm sure plenty of you have watched it already. But anyway, this was a two-time winner, and so which I which I'll be getting, along with this car, a custom V8 Vega from Heat Fleet 14 in red. This was also a two-timer. It eventually was able to bring down off-duty. This is a sweet red. Love this. It looks really nice. Now, here's one from a few years ago, from the Final Run Catapult, with cold mold wheels. It's, uh, yeah, as you can see, Final Run, not going to be made anymore after that. Oh, shit, am I taking another, oh, there we go. Another one, this was also from a few years ago, I think it's from 2001. Ford GT90 from the Amy series or Amy I don't know how you pronounce it but uh, oh well it looks really nice well actually one of my muscle tones tones came from this series that I got a few years ago now this car I have no idea what it is it's from another site my site for you hope they don't mind that I borrow this but uh, this looks like a, some sort of vintage red line. It could be customized, I don't know. But it kind of looks like a Cadillac or maybe a Lincoln. I have no idea what car this is. This is, uh, I, I like to buy red lines too. I was thinking about maybe it's time I added some more. But I have no idea what this car is. Either it's a Cadillac or a Lincoln. Something tells me. This may be a custom. This may be a custom paint job. I'm not sure. If you, if you know, just let me know in the comments, okay, please? Because I'm curious to know what kind of car this is. If it's a Cadillac, a Lincoln Continental, or something. I'm pretty sure it's a real car, but I would like your thoughts. And if this is actually a custom car, then I'll take it off the list. All right, now for one from the custom of decade cars of the decades. Pfft, custom of the decades. Cars of the Decades 2011, a Ford Mustang GT with the black hood. Yeah, that's a black hood, all right. You know, so I always like to collect Mustangs, and this is no exception. Oh, yeah, five pack trick tracks. Five pack, I need more trick tracks. Start from here, motocross. Ford Escort, High Voltage, Scream and Holler, and Rollin' Thunder. That was originally an Acceleracer. As a matter of fact, High Voltage was also an Acceleracer. 
Oh yeah, by the way, all these pictures, most of these pictures I get from SaltTexas.cast. Please check them out. They identify Hot Wheels. Speaking of acceleracers, here's Drift Tech for Team Teku. I have two Teku cars right now, Bassline and Power Age, both in white. This will be my first blue Teku car. The Teku cars were either blue or white. With the exception of High Voltage, which was black, and Synchro, which was uh, orange. Can't wait to get my hands on this car. Another Acceleracer, this one's for Team Silencers, Iridium. I showed another Accelerator Silencers car from my last uh, video. Technetium. Now I figured it's time. I figured why not do Iridium as well. And the last car, a 71 Ford Maverick. Grobbler. I think that's how you pronounce it. Street Beast 11. In, in red. Looks casual. There's three other colors. There's two other colors too. One's exclu one is a retail exclu exclusive, from what I know. Okay. That was all I wanted to show. I hope you continue collecting Hot Wheels. And what, do you, what versions are you planning to get this year and beyond? Let me know in the comments. Thank you, and have a nice day.